Remember the rules. The first man to gain pinfall or submission will become the WWE Champion. Uh, let's make it clear, Michael, that the pinfall or submission must take place inside the ring. Which is surrounded by this cavernous hell in a cell. It's 20 feet high. It weighs five tons. It's 3,200 square feet of steel. That's bigger than an average American home. It's certainly bigger than your double wide. Yesterday, Alberto Del Rio was ranked six. CM Punk fourth, and John Cena came in at number two. You would have to think whoever wins this match would be number one in next week's rankings, right? Of course. Bam! Oof! Man! Punk turns it around. Uh, Punk can change the outlook of a match in an instant. from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Ah, yes, Minnesota, the home of the AWA. You know, folks, I'm a former AWA World Heavyweight Champion. All three of these men will be going through hell here tonight. But according to Alberto Del Rio, he's the only one that will be coming back. King, if I'm going to be honest, Alberto Del Rio doesn't deserve to be locked in the cell. What? He's not an animal. Yes, he he's not a criminal. Yes, he this man is a philanthropist. A he's an aristocrat from Mexico. He's put thousands of people to work. Oh, well, that's your opinion, Cole. If Alberto Del Rio wants to achieve his so-called destiny, he's going to have to survive this barbaric structure. Uh, there's been a lot of speculation heading into this match about whether Alberto Del Rio could adapt to Hell in a Cell, given that tonight is his first ever time inside the structure. But let's not forget how vicious and aggressive Alberto Del Rio can be. This is a man who took Mysterio out of action and forced Edge to retire. Well, Alberto Del Rio has damaged many a man since coming to the WWE. But can he become the WWE Champion here tonight? This is the first ever triple threat match inside Hell in a Cell, and it's all about the controversy surrounding the WWE title. Yeah, and it's just the 21st time in the past nearly 15 years that a WWE pay-per-view has hosted a demonic Hell in a Cell match. And of course, the first time was in October 1997, when Shawn Michaels controversially defeated The Undertaker. And earlier tonight, we saw Mark Henry successfully defend his World Heavyweight Championship against Randy Orton inside this very cell. Oh, man! He had it right on his neck from that German suplex. You know, triple threat matches are unique. I'm anxious to see how the strategy unfolds here tonight. I don't think we're going to see any allegiances. It's every man for himself. You can't trust anybody in this type of matchup, and you really have to have eyes in the back of your head to use the old cliche. Well, according to you, Cole, you can't trust anybody in the WWE with our management being the way it is. See, a Punk and John Cena know each other so well. They had what has to be considered the rivalry of the summer here in the WWE. And to think, it almost never happened that we a Punk walked out of the WWE after beating John Cena. He may get the three count right here. CM Punk has been in one Hell in a Cell match in his career, as has John Cena. Alberto Del Rio is making his first appearance inside this structure. Yeah, and quite frankly, neither CM Punk nor John Cena had great success in their first Hell in a Cell match. But you would have to think they learned a great deal from those first matches, which may give them the advantage over Alberto Del Rio here tonight. Of course, we're in New Orleans tonight for this amazing Hell in a Cell pay-per-view. The last time WWE held a pay-per-view from this historic city was June 2009 for Extreme Rules. Oh, I remember that, and that was a lucky night for CM Punk. It was a... That's it. He's done. Hey, this is triple threat. That's oh. incredible! Inside Hell in a Cell! And oh. Cena with the STF! Remember, if Del Rio taps out, Cena wins! Punk is down, he can't help it. Wait a minute, what is Ricardo doing? Ricardo knocked down the official, he opened up the, the cell. Oh. Hey, he's, he's, he had a steel pipe in his hand. With John Cena, Cena thwarting Ricardo. Oh, look at that. Oh. Hey, hey, outside the cell. That's it for Ricardo, but what's that steel pipe? Oh, man, right to the midsection. 
And now Del Rio is closing the, the door on the steel cage. He's locked it. How smart is that, King? Now Del Rio makes sure it's one on one. Seeing has been taken out of the picture. Seeing has been taken out of the picture. Oh! Cena can't get in the cell. Cena can't get in the cell. Del Rio using that, that steel pipe and Cena struggling, trying to get in, but there's no way. That, that door's locked. Now mocking Cena. Man, brilliant strategy from Del Rio. Well, with John Cena locked outside the cage now, this becomes a one-on-one -on -one match with Alberto Del Rio and CM Punk. Punk's in trouble. Remember, CM Punk lost his WWE Championship when Alberto Del Rio cashed in his Money in the Bank contract at SummerSlam. Then John Cena beat Alberto Del Rio for the title last month at the Night of Champions pay-per-view. And amazingly, Del Rio claims Cena doesn't deserve to be champion, despite making Del Rio tap out. Kick. This could be it. Will he tap out? Will he tap out? This hold is not in really good. Yeah, he's got to get the pressure off somehow. Wait a minute. Refusing to give in there. What sheer determination. He's enjoying this.